favorite places to check out every time I'm in a different city because they always have different stuff and this one in particular is the one near Kahala mall which I'll be going to a little bit later I've actually never been to that mall and I've heard a lot about it so very excited to take you on my adventure today I do like me some Calvin Klein underwear. Let's see if they have it in my size. Ooh, this baby blue one. I remember Black Pink Jenny wore something like this. How much is this one? Really not bad. Looks like these are like little beach cover up things. But I never know how to wear one. Let's see. I really like this one. Hmm. Is this how you're supposed to wear it? I don't know how I'm supposed to wear this. Just got out of that Ross. It was pretty disappointing. I didn't find anything that I like. Uh, honestly, the Ross across from my aunt's house has way more stuff for me so now i'm gonna head to kahala mall which is like right here the ross is connected to it so let's go heading towards the center of the mall which is you just go straight and it looks like this mall has more like local brands than like luxury designer or international brands like this is i've never heard of this brand before yeah and then you get your ooh you gotta check out sanrio what i used to have a sanrio at my south coast until they closed Fun it looks like a little arcade center here and then there's also a game stop I believe there's one in international marketplace too but this game stop looks pretty big I think this game stop is bigger than the international marketplace one I think we just hit a movie theater consolidated theaters I've never heard of this theater franchise before maybe it's like exclusive to Hawaii, but I smell the butter popcorn. Right, let's look at the floor plan map of this mall. It looks pretty big. Yes, and we're on the first floor.
this place is maybe a little bit too kawaii for me. Uh, let's go somewhere a little bit more hardcore, a little bit more edgy, you know? Like a little bit more my style. Um, Sanrio. Look at all these plushies. Mm. Plushie ramen. Charlie Brown's bag like that, but it's really nice. Oh. And they have all the This is my favorite emoji. Kimono hello to the And then they also have Kimono. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. It's really great. Hello Kitty Monopoly. I want I want to play Hello Kitty Monopoly. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. Should I get this and play by myself? This is fun. 50 bucks. <laughs> That's a real shop was so uh, my vibe, you guys. <laughs> I honestly wanted to get everything in there. I remember when I was little, I would go to those kind of Hello Kitty shops near my house and feeling so poor because I can't afford anything because those are exclusively, like those are originally licensed Sanrio merch. So they are a lot more expensive. Now I'm heading towards the other wing of the mall that has Apple, a really big Apple store, and then there's a really big Sephora store here as well. Uh, oh, I smell butter popcorn. What is that butter popcorn? This place sells like sandals and like recyclable, reusable stuff. It's called Island Soul. Ooh, this seashells shop looks so cool. Let's head in. What are these little bees? Are so cute. I wonder if they're actually like natural, natural shells. Oh, this is heavy. This one's really heavy. Wow. You could make that into a bra. I think that's Ariel's bra right there. I really like 
this mirror, but it's $200. <laughs> uh, this place is very um, extra. What else can you say? Oh, I bet you these tote bags are like $150. Let's, let's see. I'm not crazy. All $40. Okay. Rihing Mui Tafi. I don't know what this lihing is, but it's very popular in Hawaii. This place is fun. It has like very cool decorative ornaments and stuff. So if you have like a nice beach house, beach mansion, you can definitely fill it up with all the seashells you can afford. Now it looks like this aisle is like a little food court aisle. Of Pizza Hut and Taco Bell here. What? Yeah, there's a Pizza Hut and Taco Bell here. I'm gonna look at Panda Express. Is Paul Korean barbecue? I love Korean barbecue. Let's go. I thought that place was like grill Korean barbecue but it's kind of like Hawaiian Hawaiian barbecue so it still looks like some kind of art gallery Exclusive wood that you could only find in Hawaii or something. <sighs> I bet you one of these bowls are like, I don't know, a couple hundred. Yeah, I'm not crazy. See, I told you. I told you. <laughs> I bet you this one is like two, 200 or something. Yeah. more special wood stuff oh this painting is so pretty oh my goodness reminds me of the beach i went to earlier wow that's stunning wow look all these are like hand painted mm. wow this plate is the only thing you can afford here twenty dollars <laughs> i love these like ceramic looking bowls so pretty yeah super pretty look at these hand painted paintings 1600 oh my goodness I like this. I like this and it can fit in my luggage but I can't afford it because look. Yeah. I mean I don't know who painted those paintings in that store just now right there but um, it's very very expensive. <laughs> I don't think normal people would be crazy enough to buy something like that for almost $2,000 and got, for sure no one's gonna notice or know that or think that it, it costs almost $2,000 for a canvas painting that small. Pretty big Macy's here you guys. And then there's like well, the face shop. Oh we gotta check out the face shop. Oh my god, more stores with paintings I kind of want to check it out now to <laughs> see if it's any better than the last store mm -hmm. handcrafted jewelry mm -hmm. 
eventually. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. It's so expensive. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my goodness. I think it comes in a set like this, that's why. This is really cute too. <laughs> I didn't know it's it was the face shop. This is the face shop? I oh, oh, so, but yes, it's, it's a Korean brand. Right, so yeah. Okay, so you carry it. Based. Oh, okay. And then these ones are for acne skin types. Or if okay. you want to repair the skin too. Okay. <laughs> No, you're good. I just finished my break too. I never like the insulation is absolutely insane. Like in the face shop, I I was just shocked. The cleanser that I'm currently using, the rice water cleanser, the pink bottle. I bought it for eight dollars before COVID, and now they are thirteen dollars. And then the same range, but the oil cleanser, I bought it for eleven dollars, and now they're eighteen dollars. I mean, absolute. I don't know how to deal. I don't know how to do because those two are my favorite products in the face shop, and now they're like so expensive. Ooh, let's check out this kitchenware shop. Do we have any chef in the house? Ooh. Apron and all this cool little towel stuff. Why does this smell like fall in here? I swear it smells like fall. Oh these are like really fun souvenir. You can take home. They even have like different tea and brewery and like sauces here. Ooh, these are like for your snow cone syrup. This is passion fruit mango butter. I weirdly want to try this. Wow. What else here? Passion fruit jelly. Well, passion fruit wasabi dressing. That is bourbon bacon jam. Let's see how much it is. I don't know. It doesn't say. $10. That's not bad. Wow. Interesting. 
of different like spice wall here. Like a little kitty cake. Oh, this is so cute. It's a mini pan. You can get this one. With a lot of little meat. Hello kitties. This is so cute. Oh, it's only $16. You can make all the little Hello Kitty cookies. Wow. Look at all these fancy, expensive knives. Made by some fancy, expensive Japanese knife brand. Wow. Alright you guys, today's snack of the day is going to be ube pancakes. Yep. So good. So good. Extra for free syrup, anyone? I bought this for like 30 some dollars in Sephora, you guys. Mm. I regret that. What else do I have over here? <gasps> More Laneige stuff? No way. Wow, these are really great prices for Laneige. Mm. Is this proactive? <gasps> Redness relief serum. I need that for my sunburn. The more I'm wearing this hat, the more I'm kind of obsessed with it. Look at how cute. And then I also found this crop top that I want to try. Let's see what else can I find to try on. Guys, look what I found. This hoodie was literally like. $70 or $80 at that Sanrio store that we just went to and here it's like $17.99 should I get it? oh my god and I also found it in this pink color that I really like too it's not my size but I don't mind wearing like an oversized hoodie as like a dress so cute <gasps> we gotta try it on oh, they have so many of these like Hawaiian shirts and dresses that are so much cheaper than the souvenir shops that you go to to get these yeah like regular souvenir shops would charge you like double sometimes triple for the same thing wow Yeah, this is a 
large, just like the other one, and I think it's too big. If it was a medium, I think it would be the perfect oversize, but I think this is just pushing the oversized look. Oh my god, I love it so much though, it's so cute. It's just too oversized for me. If it was a medium, I think it's, it would look more perfectly, but right now it's just, it looks way too big and too like saggy. It's so cute though. It is so cute. The upper cami top looks like on me. I mean, I definitely would need to wear a bra with this. Um, but it's pretty cute with the usual show you all the stuff that I got at Ross which is a lot I mean yeah so the first thing that I got let's see is this Hawaiian shirt and I was so lucky to find this because these were like crazy expensive at those like random gift shops I was talking about but at Ross I got it for only $12.99 how about that it looks so freaking pretty made with real coconut uh, buttons by the way so so excited to show you guys what it looks like on later so I got that and then of course I got to get this purple dress that I am so obsessed with when I tried it on and it looks like this super duper pretty and flowy and Hawaiian and just such a touristy vibe of course and this was also only $12.99 when at those like souvenir shops it would cost like $30 and then the next thing I got is this like fringe crop top that has like this really cool ruching that I've been really into really obsessed with this looks so cute on super cropped though but that's okay i could wear it like over my bikini or something and then okay so i went a little bit crazy with calvin klein because i i love calvin klein underwear so this first piece that i got is a brown bralette it looks black right now but it's actually like a really dark brown bralette super duper soft and yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. Um, I've been so obsessed with boy shorts lately, and Calvin Klein has obviously the best boy shorts, so I got this set. It's white and I think dark gray, and I also got a set just like this in black and light gray, and I'm actually currently wearing it right now, so I can't show you, but it looks just like this. And of course, I gotta get the matching sports bralette set as well this one is in gray and white and it looks like this so i can be jenny from black pink okay <laughs> if you if you haven't watched my i follow jenny's self-care routine go watch that video it's just hilarious so yeah got those and these were super cheap as well and then the last one I got, oh, it's the same thing but in this like really pretty lavender color. Honestly, I want to collect all of them in every color that I can find them. So pretty. And then, oh, this is super random but I bought it because I thought it looked really good with my dark hair and it made my eyes pop. So, hey, why not a random Puma hat? And then, did you know that Ross also sell junk food? <laughs> because that's why i got these like caramel corn thingy with hawaiian macadamia nuts and i'm obsessed with hawaiian macadamia nuts and then also toffee mac nut cookies because why not i 
Love Sweets, and then this one, skincare set. I'm actually gonna use this for my body because I've been in Hawaii for like a week or two and my skin has had it, okay? It's been burned, it's been fried, and the regular body stuff just does not work for my virgin pale skin. I really need to use something like a lot more concentrated like for face face cares and yeah this was super cheap as well so why not let's open it so the set comes like this and it looks pretty legit you guys i was i'm really shocked that this is only ten dollars but yeah it comes with this um aloe vera serum face serum and then it comes with this aloe vera cream let's open it wow that is some fancy stuff. Wow, it smells really good too. <laughs> well, I'm really shocked that this, this only cost me $10. Oh, okay. that is a winner for sure. I might even use this for my face. <laughs> All right, so now is really the last things that I got uh, at Ross, and it's this Proactive Redness Relief Serum. I was going to use this for my face because I do get that really red flush sometimes especially after I've been out in the sun for too long and I never got a chance to try this I love proactive stuff I currently am using some proactive products for my acne sensitive skin and then this one is the proactive MD which is a more advanced formula for proactive like acne skincare and this is the acne treatment and I have the spot treatment so I thought this would be very similar to that yeah it is it is it's like a gel and it's for like those like red bumpy spots that I randomly get sometimes especially when I'm on my period so got those for my skincare yep and that's pretty much it you guys oh my god the damage is real 